what is going on collectors optical 20 back for another video preview today we're gonna take a look at iron man mark 3 golden color version you can call him midas as well and this is a quarter scale version and i don't think you can pre-order this anywhere <laughs> so let's just talk about this because it says right here on the description uh, in commemoration of his special location along with one year anniversary of Hato Shanghai flagship store, we're delighted to introduce Mark III. Uh, let's see. It does say here somewhere that it... They, okay, here it is. With limited quantity of 300 pieces in stock, exclusively available in ha a Hato Shanghai flagship store and Hato WeChat store. 300 this is as limited as you could be. I know a lot of people are complaining. It's another Iron Man, another repaint. But this is the type of repaint slash, I say, and this is a quarter scale as well, exclusive that gets people riled up. Because even though it's a repaint, and, and, and this is, I would say, if you want an example, look at the Mark 7 uh, exclusive from sideshow and it's sold out really quickly and you can make the same argument here that that's a repaint we've seen how many how many iterations of mark 7 have we already seen you know i i don't really know if let's say you know we had that talk before where it's iron man it sells i don't even know if that is still true i think it is in a sense that if you put in an Iron Man that has a number on it and it's like special exclusive edition, it would sell. But if you don't put that number, that exclusive tag on it, it would sit like the Midas. You know, Mark 7 Midas is still sitting out there. All the neon or I don't even know what you call them anymore. The variants would not sell unless you put a number on it. Now, putting a number on it does not make it a better figure or a must-have. But to some people, it it is evident now that putting a number, that exclusivity factor to it, gives them a little bit of value. Not, not personally me. Like, I'm not talking about myself. I, I don't buy these things because of the number or because of exclusivity. If it turns out to be, as a matter of fact, I don't like anything that is not screen accurate. That is, you know, quote-unquote you know, exclusive slash whatever the case may be. I like it before when we had like the SWAT Gordon where he did wear that, but it's a one-off, a summer exclusive. I like that. But to go out of your way to get a concept art, I'm I'm just not into that. Like maybe just, it's just me. I'm not talking about specifically about anybody else. So I am safe on these kind of releases uh, because I, I don't like them to begin with. However, if... Let's just say, even if all of a sudden somebody sells this to me at retail, as exclusive as there is, 300 is as hard to get as you could be, right? I probably still won't get it because first and foremost, it's quarter scale. So it's massive. I do want a quarter scale Iron Man. Don't get me wrong, though. I'm looking at that Mark 42 uh, with a close eye. <laughs> you know, like if it goes down to a certain point, uh, of number, I would snag that because I, I wanted a quarter scale representation of the favorite characters that I do want, and Iron Man is one of them. Um, even though it's the boxes are a, a pain in the ass to keep, I still do have a brand new appreciation for that. Now, I this is not one of those. If I only have one representation of Iron Man, it doesn't matter if this is that exclusive. I still think I'll pass on this. You know, I'm not going to pay retail for this. I'm not. It's just me. The acrylic box looks phenomenal. This is a great idea, especially for quarter scale, because now you have an instant display case. That is nice. Now, it could be a flimsy acrylic. That might be the thinnest acrylic in the world. I don't know. I'm, I'm just guessing here. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about history of hot toys being cheap on us. And it could be. But the fact that it's included... I already like that, right? I already like the fact that it's there. Um, I like the idea, right? Let's just put it that way. Uh, the golden armor, it, gold always pops to me. Like this Midas color looking things always do look good. I feel like this is for like hardcore Iron Man fans. 
that is a completionist and I don't blame them. All Iron Mans look great. If I can own them all and display them, if somebody's going to give them for me to me for free and I can I have the room to display all of them, I will. Cuz even the plastic ones back in the day, they they are a little aged now, but they all look good. Well, some of them does not. But uh for the most part, I would say 98% of them looks great. Uh, and this is no exception. I can't wait for the one sixth version of Mark III, though. That is one guy that I uh, I'm looking forward to because that Mark III with a you know finally a rolling eyeball system, the first one for Tony Stark. Uh, that is that is a must have for me as well. But I like this acrylic basis. I like it. I hope they into. I was gonna say I hope they integrate it in future releases, but pretty much all the Iron Man, at least in the one sixth form, has already been re released um, outside of I would say. Well, Mark II has been re released twice now. Um, who else do they need to? Another Mark IV, perhaps. Um, but man, that would be like what version two of the die cast? Yeah, I don't know. At some point, they gotta make new characters, man. I mean, they can't keep on tapping up to the same Iron Man over and over because. Honestly, they're not they're not selling as well as I thought they would. You know, like the Mark Fives and the Mark Ones. People were clamoring for them, and now they're heavily discounted. So, uh, this is a new technique by Hot Toys by repainting these guys and and putting a number on it, and it looks like you know they are selling and they're being they're bringing the the collectivity aspect back at least to a certain degree. And I don't want that to every figure, but to a figure like this i don't mind at all because i don't mind missing out at this now if you are a hardcore collector this is kind of like a special variant then i get the uh, the hype to it because if you make this available worldwide you know without a number i'm pretty sure this is just gonna sit kind of like mark 42 because it's not gonna be special to a lot of people they're gonna be like hey man it's just another repaint whatever i'll wait for it to hit the bargain bin but you can't wait you can't do that here can't you have to go out of your way to pick this up and and it's probably easy money for hot toys you know because they have the mold for mark 3 already because they already released that so all they got to do is repaint this you know probably pretty simple and put that acrylic base on it and easy money you know so it doesn't even come with a tony stark head sculpt it looks like no special base nothing like that uh just a figure gold acrylic base and that's it. But let me know in the comments, is this something that you are thinking of picking up? Because if you are, be ready to pay a hefty price. Because I don't think this is even going to creep up to Sideshow at all. But thank you for watching. Hopefully you like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.